Hello friends, I am Dr. Avilash Nayak. In this video, we shall be talking about empowering people with disabilities through open and distance learning. As we know, open and distance learning is a very suitable alternative or mode of education for people with disabilities. The characteristics of open and distance learning match with the needs of the people with disabilities and hence they look like an attractive and alternative format for people with disabilities. They can study at their own home, at their own desired place without any physical confinement and irrespective of their age, sex, caste, creed or ability. Majority of the learners with disabilities, they consider ODL or open and distance learning to be appropriate for them as it doesn't require them to leave their physical environment in which they are located and on the other hand, it is also very cost effective. This gives them the autonomy to be in their own familiar and favorite environments and study at their own convenience. Now let us discuss what are the reasons why people consider open distance learning as their most suitable alternative. First of all, it is convenient for them as they can study at their own place own pace and own time. It fits into the irregular schedules of the people, the young people and children with disabilities. It doesn't need them to travel to campus for accommodation near the institution. It is also more flexible and offers content in various formats so that they can listen, they can read and they can watch the programs at their own convenience. It is also more affordable in cost as it costs significantly less than the campus based instruction. It also gives a degree of anonymity to the people with disabilities because in such a system the learners with disabilities they can interact with their peers, interact with their teachers without being discriminated. Professor Asa Kanwa, the president of Commonwealth of Learning has identified the following four kinds of reasons why people with disabilities they consider open and distance learning to be their most favorite alternative. As we have already discussed, it is convenient for them. They can study at their own place. They can study at their own time and they can study at their own pace also. They doesn't require them to travel to campus for accommodation. It is also flexible. It is there is option for them to listen to the programs. It is there is option for them to watch the programs. There is also option for them to read the programs in different formats. And as we have already discussed, it also costs less than the face to face mode of education. And most importantly, it is anonymous. They can engage learners with disabilities. They can engage with the teachers and the peers without being discriminated, without being identified. Now, let us see why people with disabilities, they consider ODL to be the most important mode of learning. Open and distance learning can only become viable and flexible alternative to people with disabilities if the people in the ODL system are sensitive to their needs and the infrastructure is in place for them. All ODL resources, they must be designed in such a way so that students in the ODL institutions with disabilities, they can afford get maximum opportunity to access education resources at any time, anywhere without the need for any outside assistance. Now, there are some universities in the world which are very much PWD friendly. They are very much friendly to the people with disabilities. They have their policies which are in sync with the needs of the learners with disabilities. For example, the Open University of UK has a policy of securing greater accessibility which ensures that all students, regardless of their access, achieve comparable learning objectives. The university also closely monitors the performance of the learners against a four-stage model of professionalism in accessibility. It attracts the large number of learners with disabilities in the UK. In 2014 only, 19,000 learners with disabilities, that is 12% of the total enrollment in the university, they were enrolled in the undergraduate program. 
Athabasca, Canada's open university, it has a special provision for providing access to students with disabilities. The university provides the courses in alternative formats, access to assistive technologies, and examination accommodations and day travel services are also given. AIOU, Alama Iqbal Open University of Pakistan also offers free education to people with disabilities up to the PhD level. There are universities like UNISA which provide study materials in alternative formats including Braille, large print, audio and electronic and provide sign language interpretation to the students with disabilities. All these ODL institutions, they are committed to inclusion as it fits with the social mission of the university which is to open up access to learners of all categories, particularly the learners with disabilities. So we note that there is a growing con convergence between ODL methodologies and the technologies which are required for the people with disabilities. Thank you all. Thank you very much for listening to the presentation with attention. Thank you very much.